Hi, and welcome to the CKZ Time Clock System Overview Demonstration. For the purposes of this demo, we're running a version identical to the one you can download for your 30-day free trial. We've done this to show that the demo and the full version only have one difference, and that is security is disabled. You'll notice that when you first open CKZ Time Clock, it gives you a list of employees and an option to check my hours or exit. You'll notice by selecting any employee, it'll give me an option for them to either clock in or clock out. CKZ Time Clock also allows your employees to check their hours. You can set this to be defaulted to yes or no if you prefer them not to. By clicking on an employee, say we click on Jay or Joe, and we click check my hours, I can enter my username and password and the system will allow me to check my own times. Again, this is an option you can change within the security settings. Also, you can set up whether or not you allow your employees to add, edit, or delete their own punches. So let's go ahead and go into some of the administration functions. You'll notice, as I mentioned earlier, that I said the demo and the full version are identical except for security. During the demo period, we have disabled the security features so that you can fully utilize all of our options. Simply click OK and administration is activated. You'll notice on the left hand side I have multiple options. I can add an employee, I can deactivate an employee, and the way this works is whoever is selected on the list, I highlight them, click deactivate employee, click yes, and you'll notice Joe is gone. But say I made a mistake, I can always reactivate him, simply coming by clicking reactivate, highlighting him, reactivate employee, and then click finish, and you'll notice Joe is back. I can also edit Joe by either double clicking on him, or by clicking on edit company information. You'll notice that that contains all of the basic information about the employee, but then on the right hand side there's a few things. His email address and his password. This is the username and password that he would use to be able to check his own hours. You can also set their regular rate, their overtime rate, their job title, and whether or not they're a supervisor. I can also go ahead and employ, edit employee time. By default, the system is going to open up with the employee I have selected. So if I click edit employee time, you'll notice it is selected Joe employee. I can also select any other employee I would like to edit their times with, or I can do all employees. I can then select any of their time punches, edit them, I can delete them if I want, or I can add a new one. And you notice again, it defaults. Once I'm done, I can simply click finish. I can also check, see who's currently logged in. As you can see here, Joe and Jay are currently clocked in and the date and time that they clocked in. And then we have system options. CKZ Time Clock allows you to set many different options on how the system runs. You have your basic company information. You have your payroll options. You can set your overtime settings, whether you calculate it or how you calculate it, and when your work week begins. You can also select time rounding. You'll notice here we have multiple options for setting that. For the purposes of this demo, let's go ahead and set it to five minutes. I then have employee options. You'll notice, as I mentioned earlier, the check my hours. This is where you allow your employees to input their time manually, yes or no. So let's go ahead and select no. And then I also don't want them to be able to modify their own time. So I'm going to click no there too. And then last but not least, we have system options. CKZ Time Clock comes with two main settings, whether or not to use the employee list, as you see here, or to use a username. This is where they would clock in and out with their username. You can also set it to require your employees to enter their password when clocking in. This helps stop body clicking. Once I'm done, I click, simply click Save and Exit. CKZ Time Clock also allows you to run different reports. You can run a summary report on an employee, or multiple employees, or run totals. Once you're done, if you simply click Deactivate Administration, you'll notice all of the settings have now taken place. When I go to check my hours, I simply type in my username and password, and you'll notice
notice I can no longer add or edit any of my punches. I hope this demonstration helps and thank you for your consideration in CKZ 2.0.